Hi everyone, thanks for watching once again. I'd like to have you turn to John chapter 3. John chapter 3, we're going to uh, look at a very familiar verse today. Um, hope you're blessed by what I have for you today. As you're opening your Bibles to uh, John chapter 3, I'm going to open this up in a word of prayer. Father, I just want to thank you once again, uh, Lord, for all that you do, for all that you provide, for the great God that you are. Pray, Lord, that uh, your truth and your character and your nature would shine forth, uh, Lord, in what I have today that I believe that you've given to me uh, to offer to the folks that are watching. Pray that they would receive it and, uh, and that, uh, Lord, you would, you would be honored and glorified in all hearts and lives, uh, Lord, that, uh, that are watching and that you do your work in all of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. John chapter 3, uh, verse 16, very familiar verse of Scripture. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You don't have to be a Bible scholar or even a churchgoer to be familiar with John 3.16. There are so many uh, who have no idea what it says, uh, and perhaps even some who have no idea it's even from the Bible. Uh, but if you've ever attended a televised sporting event or watched one, it's likely that you've seen John 3.16 on a poster or painted on someone's face or some guy's chest. But have you read or heard it read? before now. Do you know what it means? I'm going to talk to you about that today. It's a simple message, really, for us, uh, but it's a complicated matter for God. Let's, talk, let's just take a look at it. Take a look at John 3.16 in your Bibles. In the first two words there, it says, for God, for God. Everything must begin with God. Everything must begin with God. Proverbs 1 7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 9 10, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Everything begins and ends with God. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding, love, grace, mercy, truth, and salvation. All begin with God. The Bible says your life is a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away, James 4.14. Your life began with God when he formed you with his hand and it will end with God as one day you will stand before him and answer for what you did with the life that he gave you. Everything must begin with God. And everything must be for God. Romans 4.23, for whatsoever is not a faith is sin. As humans and uh, the society in which we live, we have been programmed with the notion that everything begins with self. Even those whose desire and goal is to be selfless cannot escape the deep-rooted ulterior motive of serving self. If you don't believe this, it's because you don't see it. Think about it. Even those with the most noble of intentions are driven by their own need to be comfortable in their own skin. We do good to others to feel good about ourselves. We sacrifice for others because we would feel guilty if we let someone else suffer. When our eyes are open to this fact, the only hope we have of peace is acknowledging the truth and asking God to make himself preeminent in spite of our flaws, the flaws of our thinking. Look back at John 3.16. It says, for God, and then secondly, is so loved, so loved. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it wonderful? God's love is a so love. Love must begin with God because God is love. Uh, John 4, verse 8, He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. And again, uh, first, this is 1 John, uh, the epistle of 1 John 4, 8 was what I just quoted. Uh, and 1 John 4, 16 through 19, And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us, 
God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth not made perfect, uh, he that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. God's love is immense. It's, it's huge. It's immeasurable. It's uh, profound. God's love is bigger than you could imagine. God's love is beyond that which we can fathom in our humans, human minds. God is bigger and God's love is bigger than you and I could ever possibly uh, understand in our finite human minds. Uh, there is no depth to God's love. There is no, uh, no, no end to the height and the breadth and, and, and the width and the immensity of God's love. This you must understand. Romans 5 a, but God commendeth his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He loved us so much that he sacrificed his own son for you and I. Ephesians 2, 4, and 5, But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us, or made us alive, together with Christ. By grace are ye saved. Romans 8, 37 through 39, In all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. There is nothing more powerful than the love of God. Look again at John 3.16. For God so loved the world that, number three, he gave. He gave. The only one who deserves to get is the only one who truly gave with no thought of himself. God gave his most precious thing, his son, for you and I. Christ loved us so much he gave himself for us. You can't outgive God. There's nothing you can give back to God that would sufficiently cover the cost. If you're a born-again believer, you're not your own. You're bought with a price, 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20. Back to John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave, number four, his only begotten son. His only begotten son. The only one he had and the only one who could. John 14, 6. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The only way to get to God is through the only begotten Son of God. There is no God apart from Jesus. There is no relationship with God apart from a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no wisdom. There is no knowledge. There is no understanding, no love, no grace, no mercy, no truth, without the way, the truth, and the life. There is no salvation apart from the Savior. There is no heaven apart from the one who is seated at the right hand of God, who can seat you in heavenly places and give you peace, a peace that passes all understanding and make you a son or daughter of Almighty God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, number five, that whosoever believeth in him, Whosoever believeth in him, what, should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 tells us, Whosoever believeth in him will have everlasting life. Matthew 7.24, Whosoever believeth in him will hear his sayings and do them, and be likened unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Whosoever believeth in him, Matthew 10.32, shall confess Christ before men, and be confessed by Christ, before the Father which is in heaven. 
For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10.13 If you've been following me at all, you've noticed the words I have used most. Believe on the Lord. Confess him as Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. The only word I may have used more is whosoever. Because the Bible is all about whosoever. God's word is for the whosoevers. Whosoever will. Whosoever will believe on the Lord. Whosoever will confess him as Lord. Whosoever will call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Have you called upon him? You can do that today. If you're ready to call him Lord. If you need help, get in touch with me. JohnCLawton.org Or you can email me at John at JohnCLawton.org And thanks for watching.